Hi guys, my name is Viara and welcome to another video. Today, I'll be helping you go through the steps of creating your PSD character. Now, I know this sounds very scary, but trust me, by the end of this video, you too will be able to use Photoshop. Before we start, let's hear a few words from our first ever sponsor, Coco AI. Are you lonely and friendless? Do you wish you had someone to talk to? Well, no fear, Coco AI is here. Coco AI is an app that allows you to communicate and interact with AI anime friends, which is especially great for all of you simps out there who are dying to talk to your beloved Genshin characters. And I can't blame you. Honestly, who could resist the temptation of not talking to your favorite hot stuff character? Truth not not Paimon, though. Let's not ignore the feature we're sticking around for, which will allow you to create your own AI friend. And trust me, when that comes around, you won't be able to get me off this app. No, no, no. So what are you waiting for? Check the link in the description and... Enjoy the video! Now, let's start by opening Photoshop, where you will be met with a similar opening like you see on my screen. From there, you will click on Create New, and a little window with all the different measurements will pop out. I do use A4 measurements for all my characters, and none of my fellow team members complained so far, so I'll use it for this tutorial as well. Once you select your paper, click Create. Now, what I like to do is to have my map fill with characters' body parts. It makes things so much easier. I also suggest you have a character base you could follow, just to spare yourself the nightmares. You can always move your character around, along with the guidelines. However, if you don't like the character's position and you feel like the guidelines are in the way, just press and hold Kirtle while using your mouse and you will be free to move your character around just the way you like. Now, you will be met with all these different numbers on your layer, however, no worries. Just double-click it and you will be able to rename it into whatever you like. As for the base itself, I suggest you put an effect called Luminosity, which turns your character grey so there wouldn't be any confusion with the body parts and the base. Your next step should be to create a map for each body part, so you, or your animators, won't have to struggle through all the different layers. Now you go to File, Open, and find where your character is, then double-click it for it to appear. Now, this might look scary at first, but trust me, all you have to do is press L, which stands for lasso, circle around the part you need, and then press V, which will allow you to move your circled object. From there, you just drag the object to your character. There might be times where your object won't be part of the map, but no worries, just drag that bish. Don't forget to rename it too. Then to move the object you dragged, you need to press Kirtle plus T, and then you'll be able to adjust the object. The issue though you might come across to is zooming in and out to adjust the character. Now you can either use this little tool or save yourself the trouble and just hold Alt while using the mouse scroller. This will allow you to zoom in and out easily. Or if you'd like to move left and right, you can hold Kirtle and use the mouse scroller again. But if you let go of the kirtle, you'll move up and down. From here, you just play with adjustments and continue adding more stuff to your character. Now the fun part is that you can actually change the eye shape or anything you want if you don't like how it looks already. All you have to do is hold Kirtle again and move it around just the way you want to. 
But if you think you messed up, just press Curtil and Z and it will get you your original shape back. Don't worry guys, all the commands will be in the description, so no worries, you don't have to remember anything. This is not school. <laughs> now back to editing. Now, if you come to the situation where the color is missing a little on your character, don't worry. You can simply fix that by clicking that layer, create new layer, and by pressing B, which stands for brush, you can simply fill in the missing spot. However, to get your needed color, you gotta press I, which stands for eyedropper tool. Now, if you ever want to combine two layers into one, all you have to do is click one layer, hold shift, click the second layer, right click and merge layers. Simple as that, back to work. As you can see, this part might just bring some problems, but not for long, as you can always press E on your keyboard, which is a shortcut to the eraser tool, or you can find it on the left. Problem resolved. Back to speedrun we go! One for the resting, for the adjusting, one for the time. One for the letters, all thanks to the sultan. One for the shadow plans. You know the time has come for breaking some new ground. I'll let you drive. So we will stare at views we can't believe we found. We'll feel alive. You're still my
for the tired hands One for the letdowns All thanks to this old town One for the shattered plans You're still my And you're all done. All you have to do now is save it, and that's it. Anyways, I really hope this helped you guys, and if it did, please leave a like and subscribe for more. It would mean a lot to me. Again, every command is in description, so you don't have to go through this entire video again and again and again and again. <laughs> Anyways, good luck to all of you young creators. Viara out. With me.